Good day, everyone. Easter is upon us. We will be celebrating that wonderful day in less than 10 days. And the whole idea there, again, is for us to understand the joys of what Jesus has done for us. Hebrews helps us. And basically telling us that for the joys set before him, Jesus endured the shame of the cross for you and me. And that is wonderful because that is how you and I get to live with the Father. We have been looking at the hymns of Easter. And remember, Jesus goes to the cross to pay a debt for you and I, to pay a debt that none of us can repay, a debt that is so far over our heads, it would take several lifetimes to pay it. I liken it sometimes to the United States national debt as we record this today, the national debt is $34.49 trillion. Now, I know one or two of you have that trillion dollars sitting there under the mattress. But seriously, it is a debt that none of us can pay. It is the debt of sin that we have. We cannot pay that debt. We are encumbered by sin. We are born in it, as David says, which is the truth of our lives. Yet God had a plan, and his plan was for his son to come. Jesus says so willingly, prepare a body for me. I'll go. I'll be the sacrifice that is the payment for their sin. Today we're looking at the hymn, Jesus Paid It All. And this is one of those hymns that you think just should have been written, and it should have been, and it was. But let me tell you the story. It's about a dear sister named Elvina Hill. Wonderful sister to church. She's sitting up in the choir loft as the pastor prays. And like many of us, he goes, you know, this is getting a little long up here. Sometimes we do that with sermons. Sometimes I look down at the timer that I use for my sermons and go, this is getting long. Well, that's what she was thinking that day. But then her mind changed. She started thinking about the salvation and the gift of salvation that Jesus had given her, that Jesus had paid the price for her. And so as the story goes, words just kind of seamlessly flowed out of her as she wrote them on the fly sheet of of the hymnal. After service, she goes down and shares them with a pastor. And, you know, most pastors, I think, would be a little annoyed. We're not sure what this one did. But he had an idea. Because soon after, he met with a friend of his, George Grape, who written a wonderful tune and needed a song. And so the pastor united the tune with the song, a song that was going to be written. So hear the lyrics. Listen as we deal with them because they teach and speak into each and every part of our life. Jesus paid it all. I heard the Savior say, Thy strength indeed is small. Child of weakness, watch and pray. Find in me Thine all and all. Here's a refrain. Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain. He washed it white as snow. For nothing good have I whereby thy grace to claim. I wash my garments white in the blood of Calvary's lamb. Jesus paid it all. And now, complete in him, my robe, his righteousness, close sheltered, near his side, I am divinely blessed. Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. Sin had left the crimson stain. He washed it white as snow. Lord, now indeed, I find thy power and thine alone. 
can change the leper's spots and melt that heart of stone. Jesus paid it all. When from my dying bed my ransomed soul shall rise, Jesus died my soul to save, shall rend the vaulted skies. And when before the throne I stand in him complete, I lay my trophies down all at Jesus' feet. Jesus paid it all. What's the debt? The debt is our sin, our sinfulness. But listen again what Jesus says, what the psalm says. Jesus paid it all. Our strength is small. Watch and pray. Find in Jesus your all in all. Because when we find in him our all in all, we realize our forgiveness for sin. We realize the life that he's given us. We realize, as this, we're going to say in one second, that we have been cleansed. What's it say? Sin had left a crimson stain, dark. You can't get red out, but he washed it white as snow. There's nothing good you or I have whereby his grace to claim. He gives us his grace, his love. Why? Because of his love for us. So our garments, our lives, our souls are washed clean in the blood of Jesus, Calvary's Lamb. Think for a moment on this, this, this verse. In Revelation 4 and 5, John's before the throne and he looks up and he sees a lamb looking as if it had been slain. That is Jesus, his blood, Calvary's Lamb, shed for you and I. Now, I am complete. My robe, which is his righteousness, close sheltered near his side. We are divinely blessed because of what Jesus has done. We are now robed, clothed in his righteousness, his righteousness alone. We walk by his side. Lord, now indeed I find thy power and thine alone can change the leper's spots and melt a heart of stone. What does Jesus do in our lives? He cleanses us. He heals us. The whole idea there of lepers or leopards, spots, is the idea of Jesus cleansing us, making us whole, making us right, melting the heart of stone that binds us, that keeps us wanting our old life. But Jesus melts that heart of stone and calls us to himself. Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain. He has washed it white as snow. When from my dying bed, my ransomed soul shall rise, Jesus died, my soul to save, shall rend the vaulted skies. The skies will open for us. Why? What does that line say? My ransomed soul, because we have been ransomed by Jesus. Oh, mercy. And when before his throne I stand, in him complete, I lay my trophies down at Jesus' feet. Why? Because Jesus has paid it all. What does this song remind us? It reminds us that we have no strength. We need to depend on Jesus, one. Two, sin had left a crimson stain, but he has washed it white as snow because of his blood on Calvary. We are clothed in his righteousness. And he continues to melt our hearts and draw him, draw us to himself. And then we're reminded again that we have been ransomed by the Father. Jesus has paid the debt greater than a national debt, a debt that none of us could pay. He has paid the debt for our sin. Lord Jesus, we bless you and thank you. The Lord, yes, indeed, you have paid it all. Thank you for ransoming us by your own blood. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Be blessed today, my dear friends.